Hey everyone, welcome back to official MM2H Resources, where we dive into all things related to the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Let's get into it. Welcome to an exciting update on the Sabah Tourism Ministry's work in Malaysia. Today, we delve into an innovative initiative known as the SBH MM2H program. This program, under the diligent stewardship of the Sabah Tourism Ministry, is in the final stages of having its Standard Operating Procedure or SOP finalized. On an important note, the Ministry expects to begin receiving applications for participation in the SBH MM2H program as early as the end of this May. The SBH MM2H program is a significant stride in bolstering tourism and enhancing the local experience in Sabah. Its purpose is twofold to attract tourists from all walks of life to the vibrant culture and breathtaking landscapes of Sabah, and to ensure that locals also benefit from the economic and social opportunities generated by the tourism industry. This comprehensive program promises to open up an array of possibilities for all who engage with it. Stay tuned to find out more about the SBH MM2H program's implementation. Now, let's dive deeper into what the SBH MME2H program entails. This initiative is a strategic step by the Sabah Tourism Ministry to bolster tourism in the region. The program's key aspects are designed to make Sabah an even more attractive destination for tourists worldwide. One of the significant features of the SBH MM2H program is its streamlined processes. This means that the application procedures will be simplified, making it much easier for tourists to navigate. The primary aim here is to reduce the red tape and bureaucratic hurdles that can often deter potential visitors. Now let's talk about the benefits. The SBH MME2H program offers an array of advantages to tourists. It aims to provide a more seamless and hospitable experience for all who choose to explore the beautiful region of Sabah. From the lush rainforests to the stunning beaches, the program ensures that tourists can fully enjoy all that Sabah has to offer, with minimal fuss. But that's not all. The cabinet has given its approval for this promising initiative, reinforcing its potential to boost tourism in Sabah. This endorsement from the highest level of government signifies the importance of the SBH MM2H program and its potential to transform the tourism landscape in Sabah. Moreover, the program has set an age limit criteria for applicants. This measure is meant to ensure a diverse range of tourists can benefit from the program, thus promoting inclusivity. With such a robust plan, the SBH MM2H program promises to revolutionize tourism in Sabah. But that's not all. There are also plans to address travel advisories affecting tourism in Sabah. The ministry is taking a proactive approach, not sitting back and waiting for the storm to pass. They're stepping up to the challenge, taking the bull by the horns, and actively seeking to resolve issues that may be hindering the full bloom of Sabah's tourism potential. Now, one of the key strategies in their approach is to engage in open dialogues with various embassies. This is a smart move. It's about getting on the same page, understanding concerns, and addressing them head on. These discussions could lead to a better understanding of the situation on the ground and ultimately to more accurate and favorable travel advisories. The potential positive impact of this strategy on Sabah's tourism industry is immense. Imagine more favorable travel advisories could mean more tourists and more tourists mean a more vibrant, thriving tourism sector. It's a ripple effect that could benefit everyone from the local vendor to the hotel owner. Indeed, the ministry is leaving no stone unturned in its quest to boost tourism. So there we have it, a comprehensive look at the SBH M2H program and its potential impact on Sabah's tourism. We've delved into the intricacies of the program, its details, and how the Sabah Tourism Ministry is working tirelessly to finalize its implementation. This program is not just another policy on paper, it's a bold step towards enhancing Sabah's tourism landscape, offering far-reaching benefits for tourists and locals alike. It's about making Sabah more accessible, more welcoming, and more exciting for everyone. We also address the travel advisories and the efforts being made to ensure that Sabah remains a safe and attractive destination for all. Despite the challenges, Sabah is committed to evolving and adapting to continue being a place of wonder and adventure. So whether you're an avid traveler or someone simply looking for a new experience, Sabah, with its rich culture and breathtaking natural beauty, is waiting to welcome you. For more information, do visit our website at officialm2h.com. We look forward to seeing you in Sabah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. 
Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or what you'd like to see next. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.